This is just clean water to lubricate the sky with. Just give it a quick coating so we can put the clouds on and everything will diffuse. So I'm going into raw sienna. Clean the brush and I'm going ultramarine and Pines Grey. Not too much Pines Grey, mainly ultramarine. And then I'm just going to Quickly bash a few clouds in. A bit stronger this time, a bit more Payne's Grey. And just I can't go on too much long because the paper is starting to dry. So I think I'll just leave it at that for now. Just dip the edge, just dip the tips in just to bring the, uh, all the hairs back together. And then I'm going back into the same colours again, raw sienna, ultramarine, Payne's grey, and I'm just going to put in the distant, the distant hill, which is somewhere about there like so. Bit of ultramarine, bring that down. More raw sienna, just to keep varying the colours and tones on the hill, try and keep it interesting. Raw sienna, such a pain's grey, a bit more pain's grey. Raw sienna. I'll bring that side down to about there. And on the other side, the other side is a bit more green. So I haven't cleaned the brush, I've just gone straight into the lemon yellow. And this side slightly low, it starts just slightly low, and that comes down to something like that. There's going to be a I deliberately wanted this area dark, mind you. I might make it a bit darker saying that. Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a, a little building. But I'll, sort of, I'll paint it in by taking the paint off with a damp brush. So to make the white stand out, I want to get this bit really dark. So carrying on down on this left hand side. I've got a few bushes and bits and what that's along there. Now there's a road. It comes along this bit there. So I'm just going to paint up to the edge of this road. I'm just cleaning the brush because I want some, just want it a little bit lighter. Raw sienna. And just a little bit of lemon yellow, and I'm just going to sweep straight down. A bit of ultramarine. Just dip the tips in just to bring the edges together again. I'm just trying to define the, the edge of. This road that's coming along. So that'll do for that well. And I'll just put a bit more darker, plenty of pines there. I'm just going to put some dark bushes and bits and pieces, just a few little. 
it's still a bit too wet to do that. But over this side, what I did forget to put in is a big tree. So I'm, I'm fairly dry brush, lemon yellow, Payne's grey, and just very lightly. Just doing the, the outside, just the main profile of the tree. tree there. Now continue along this left hand side. Look like some sort of heather, sort of raw sienna, a bit of light red. That sort of reddy, heathery sort of look. Very quick. That's maybe a bit too bright. We've got a, a wall. Before I go any further, I'm just going to pull this tight because the paper stretched slightly. And I've wet it all over. Because I wet it all over and not just the sky area first, it's stretched evenly. So it's just a case of refixing it on the right hand side. I'm going to weigh again. I'm going to put a wall in here. The first thing I'm going to do is burnt umber an ultramarine, get it nice and dark, plenty of paint, nice and dark, and then I'm just going to bash, just push in the basic shape of a wall, that sort of goes along Something like that. Doesn't gotta be exact. 